Hi guys, been a while since I made a repair video. Not that I haven't had any, but today I'm gonna to change out this handle on my toilet. It has a crack in it. And then lately when we flush the toilet, you gotta to push all the way down on this. So I've already shut the water off. I'm gonna do one last flush. See how far down I gotta go? It doesn't come back up. So today I'm gonna to replace it with this Fluid Master perfect fit tank lever. Now I bought a couple in the past because this has been going, <laughs> I've had that crack in there for about, I don't know, I want to say 12 years and I never replaced it and because it was working. But now, as you can see, it's not even coming back up. It's just staying down. So in the next flush, you've got like nothing to push. So we're going to replace it, hopefully uh, with no tools. That's what it says. So, and it's supposed to be a side mount. Most of the ones that I've gotten have been in the front here. So I bought one that was a side mount. I must not have realized how to do it, but uh, this one here um, says that it can work for a side mount tank. So let's see how it goes. Before I cut into it, I want to just let you know that that Toto, the last one on the, on the uh, right, is what we have. Um, it's a 1.6 liter. Or, or is it six liter? Six liter. Yeah, it's a small tank anyway, but that's what it is. These are the ones that it fits, or it says it fits most brands, but mine was labeled on there, so that's why I got it. All right, so it says that this should be, should just be able to turn, but I did have to use a pair of my pliers and uh, just give it a little, one little turn counterclockwise to get it off. And then I'll get it undone. Always something. Whoever put this on here just tightened it a little too much. Now I'm going to undo the chain here. Oh boy, you hear my grandson oh, playing a game out there with a friend. It turns into more trouble than anything. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to do this one-handedly. Okay, so that's off. Be careful with this. You guys know, working with porcelain, I was a little nervous coming up here with that plier. But there that is, I'm gonna clean that up. Ew, yuck. And I'm gonna put the replacement in there. So there is a little uh, plastic piece, like a fitting for um, ones that have a bigger hole. It's a little square fitting. It's not like an O-ring, but it's like a little sleeve. And um, I might have to put that in there now that I see that. But let me get it cleaned up and I'll be back at you. All right, now I have to take the handle part away from here. So there's um, these little clips here. So I'm gonna have to just put a little bit of force onto it and pull it apart. Maybe more force. There we go. I heard it. Now I have the two pieces here, this one and this one. So I'm going to put this one aside. And now I can just, there's the handle. This is the piece I want to work with now. And I'm just going to turn that clockwise to get it off. And then this is the little sleeve I was telling you about, just a little square sleeve. So I think I might have to use this little square part um, to put in my gap. All right, I'll fit that in there. Okay, so we have a gap here. So I don't think I need that little piece. I'm gonna take that off. I'll fit that in there. That fits better. Snuggle, sorry. There's uh, markings. There's an arrow. I don't know if you can see that little arrow there. And that one says top. So this is the top. The other one is the same on the other side. So that's the t this this part here is the top. Put it in like that. And now just put the other piece on to lock it in place. All right. Yeah, 
I've never changed one of these before, guys. Never. This is my first one, so I just wanted to make sure that wasn't spinning on me. And then that's that. Now, the next part I have to do is to angle this so this will turn and I can angle it because right now it's not going to fit anywhere if I put it in there. See, it ain't going to fit. This is not for this. But now they make them so they just rotate. This part here will just rotate to the, the part that I need. So the angle that I need here, I would need to move this and rotate it all the way to there. So it says that you need to use a little bit of force and that it will move left or right. So I need to move it this way. Boy, you're afraid to break it. <laughs> so I think that's the angle that I need right here. So it's gonna be in the, the side. That's the angle I need. Let's set it in there and see if that works. Well, this was an epic fail. So I put the angle that I thought I needed, right, along the side here, lining that up with the flapper, right? But I don't have the clearance in here. I cannot get this all the way to the back. I cannot change the angle so it's on this side because it's uh, hitting there, the fill valve. And I don't know how else to do this. I, oh boy. So I'm when I did slide it in that way, you can kind of get the handle to come out a little bit so I can kind of see. So if I'm turning the handle, is that how it's supposed to go? I don't think so. I don't think I should be banging it on the, on the side of the tank. Every time it comes back, you're gonna hear that thunk. And look, the flapper's not even closing. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. I took it and I tried to, even reverse it. Maybe it goes this way. So I'm holding the little nub that's coming through there. I'm turning it. I can't turn it either way. <laughs> and I've run out of ways. I think this is just because I have such a small tank. I think I'm just hitting there. I can't even, I don't know. Any ideas? Because I'm putting the old handle back on because uh, I can't go like this all evening. I'm going to have to investigate this a little bit better. I don't know, unless there's somewhere on this packaging, and I bought this a while ago. Unless there's something on here, but there's my... That's ex exactly the same toilet handle that I took off too, guys. This is, this is the handle that I took off. But you see how straight mine is? I have... This is the old one. This is the old one. This is straight go. Yeah, wish I could just change that. Something's going wrong with this though, so I have to change it out. But not tonight. There's my epic fail with the fluid master. Back to the drawing board. Here's the problem with the old one. That's the problem. So this is the part that, sorry, this part here. That piece sits in there and it's constantly been wearing away through this hole. I thought I took the screw out here to see if there something I could find that maybe was wrong with this one, but now I see that little piece there is just rubbing against this every time the toilet's being flushed and it's worn a hole. Right there, it's sharp metal. So, Maybe I'll find something to sit in there, a little piece of tin or something. I don't know until I can figure this out. Any ideas, let me know. Well, I had to get on to the Jeff Bezos hotline and order on Amazon another handle. <laughs> this one looks almost identical to the ones that I, that I already took off. And it cost me 20 dollars and 99 cents plus tax and everything looks the same and I don't have the clearance for the other one so I'll save that for my bathroom downstairs and I should have got this in the first place but 
Ja, så går det sådan. Man. Not even gonna bother with the instructions, because I think this is what I should have gotten in the first place, but I had the other one, like I said, I bought it about a year ago. And, oh jeepers, what did I do? I just put it too tight. Remember when I said don't put it too tight and just gonna do it finger tight? Guess what I did? Well, I guess I did put it finger tight. <clears throat> so it's been about a week. And uh, the little repair that I did with the foil, <laughs> well, that didn't hold. I guess you could probably have, I could have, you could have been a, I told you so. That's not going to work, dummy. And it didn't. Uh, Might have worked the first day. Okay, now I've undid the chain. I didn't bother flushing and taking the water out of it, but there we go. Yeah. They're pretty much identical. So what should have taken me five minutes has now taken me a week. Hmm. See, this one has that same um, sleeve here. I don't know if I should remove it. Or leave it. Just that now there's a gap. There's a gap between the tank and the handle. If I take it out. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to see what happens. This one's rubber. The one that was on the other handle. Oh, see, now I think that's better. I'm going to try it without it. And, and see how that oh there's nothing scraping you hear that noise all right well, this should be a smooth sailing here now oh boy guys thanks for sticking with me Five minute repair. There. All right, let me get the chain on. What? Now I'm stuck. I had it out of the water. Now I gotta stick my hand in the water. I'm gonna start it on that first hole. There we go. I'll keep that little, uh, this is really wiggling. I don't know if that little um, rubber piece had something to do with the wiggling in the handle. But anyway, I think that's it guys. Sorry for dragging you along. <laughs>